Hi, everybody. This is Gad Saad. One of the ways by which we can define bigotry, racism, and small-minded thinking is when you use generalizations as a way to simplify the world. All Jews are money-hungry hungry, uh, folks. All black people are X, Y, Z, right? So we define bigotry and racism and uh, similar forms of stupidity by the fact that the hicks who engage in these mindsets are incapable of recognizing that Jews don't all come in one form, that blacks don't all come in one form. That's exactly the definition of bigotry and racism. Well, there's another form of bigotry that I'd like to discuss today. Uh, and this is where people who are just as limited in their intellectual capacity, that are just as much of hicks as the ones who hate Jews or blacks, will be bigoted towards the discipline because they think that somehow that discipline is less worthy. They think that this field is scientific. Sociology can be scientific, but anatomy is, or people who study you know, whatever, whatever they view as being too unscientific. And of course, they don't understand what science is. So the person who most recently has been exhibiting this is someone that I refer to as Petri Dish. Ali. This is Ali Rizvi, who used to be on, was a guest on my show, and who is arguably the most baffling case of the Dunning-Kruger effect. He he has a medical degree from some crystal healing uh, college in Pakistan, and then he decides who are the scientists, who are not, which field is scientific, which is, which is not, even though he has an undergraduate degree in crystal healing from Aga Khan College. And the reason why he succumbs to this bias is, number one, because he is bigoted. But number two, he's an ignorant buffoon. But number three is because he uses the wrong types of cues to establish what is scientific. If you wear a white lab coat, you're scientific. If you have a Bunsen burns burner, you're scientific. If you uh, have a Petri dish, you're scientific. So in the in order to honor the what I now coin as the Petri dish Ali bias, let me read you some stuff that I put out today, which hopefully should uh, uh, clarify uh, this new form of Hickville bigotry. Here we go. So remember, when evolutionary principles are used to study 1,999,999 species, it's science. When the exact same principles are used to study humans in general and consumers in particular, bruh, it's pseudoscience. Studying salamanders is science. Studying humans is fake science. You get it? When a person in a white coat uses fMRI to study how fear is processed in a vervet monkey's brain, it's science. When a person in a suit, hence not in a white lab coat, uses the same technology, fMRI, to study how consumers process fear, it's faux science. When a primatologist observes chimpanzees' behaviors, it's science. Take, for example, Dr. Jane Goodall. That's science. When a behavioral scientist observes consumers' behaviors, it's faux science because, bruh, marketing. When a public health expert uses a statistical model to identify predictors of disease, it's science. When a consumer psychologist uses the exact same statistical model to identify predictors of consumer choice, it's pseudoscience. When a geneticist uses genetic polymorphisms to explore disease prevalence, it's science. When a consumer psychologist uses genetic polymorphisms to explore consumer-related phenomena, it's full science. When an agricultural scientist uses experimental design to establish the best crop yield, it's science. When a psychologist uses the same experimental design to establish the best persuasion strategies, it's faux science. When a climate scientist uses a statistical model to predict climate change, it's science. When a marketing scientist uses the same type of statistical model to predict consumer choice, it's faux science. The Petri dish alley bias is an incurable form 
of idiocy. I love Petri Dish. He's a good kid. The Dunning-Kruger effect is something that we should not take lightly. We should try to redeem, find a way to cure these bigots from their idiocy. Love you, Ali. Cheers, everybody.